Hey folks, so uh, in anticipation of the mulch experiment, I'm still getting things ready. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in a prior video was wanting to report the data to the Internet of Things, specifically through Adafruit's I.O. platform. So I went ahead and I hooked up this little AM2315 sensor to this little Adafruit Feather Huzza um, ESP8266, I think is what it is. Anyway, um, I played around with the tutorials and I uh, had this thing hooked up for the last 24 hours and there you have it. It's working really well. I'm really impressed with how easy it was to integrate um, this hardware with Adafruit's I.O. platform. So uh, this is something I'm exploring for my agency, migrating off of ThingSpeak because ThingSpeak is rather expensive. It's not really uh, accessible for people who don't have a lot of money. Adafruit's I.O. platform is only um, $100 a year for, for all the bells and whistles, and it's free otherwise. Uh, so I'm slowly starting to uh, figure out how to migrate our agency away from ThingSpeak and onto this more reasonably priced platform. So something interesting that you can see in the data here is you can see my air conditioner is cycling on and off through these little spikes, causing, uh, you know, in response to rising temperatures and then the, uh, and then the thermostat kicking the AC on. And then I shut my AC down and I switched over to a swamp cooler. I'm lucky to have a dual system in my home. And you can see here how the temperature has risen and is kind of stuck at about 85 degrees, which is a little warm, but uh, that's what we've got going on with, uh, with temperature. And then on humidity, you can see the same thing. You can see how humidity kind of spiked, went back down and then spiked again in response to me using the uh, swamp cooler. So you can see that the sensor actually works pretty well and it's easily integrated with uh, Adafruit's IO platform. If I'm able to integrate this AM2315, there's no reason why I can't integrate the other sensors as well and then just post all the data to the um, uh, Internet of Things. So that's where we are, folks. Uh, still making progress, uh, just trying to uh, design something that's going to be robust for this experiment and uh, easily accessible for anyone who's interested. So thanks for your patience. This is just an update on where we are right now.